They've come from all over the world with one goal, a glowing piece of our radical rock. But one question still remains. Do you have it? Welcome to the Extreme Arena. This is Global Guts Nickelodeon's World Championship for Kids. Let's meet today's players from Portugal wearing the blistering blue. It's Felipe the Boulder Miranda. From Mexico wearing the rip in red. It's Alba. piece of our radical rock. Hello everyone, I'm Mike O'Malley. This is Global Guts, and I'm here with an international team of presenters bringing the action to you and over 250 million people all over the world. Before we kick off today's World Championship Games, time now to go to our referee, Maura Quirk, for an official gold medal update. Yo, Mo. Hello there, Mike. Here's a look at our standings. Mexico is in the lead, the U.S. is tied for third, and Portugal is looking for its first gold. That's where they stand. Back to you, Mike. Okay, it is time to get your dunks in motion for a little slamma jamma. That's right. We're going to find out who is the ultimate Skywalker in the world in this next event, the Royal Highness of Her Hang Time, I should say. Let's go back to Mo for the rules. Mo! Mike, each of our players will have 30 seconds to try and score as many slam dunks as possible, while the other two players try to reject their shot. The player with the most baskets wins. On your mark, get set. Up first will get be Portugal's finest hole. And a little defense right there on Matty Evans from the U.S. This is Felipe in blue as he goes up strong. He's got his rhythm down now, putting another one through the hole. Our players have to play defense and offense in this event. He scores another. Smart moves to think about. We're talking advice, determination, power, and finishing the play. On defense, speed, and quick hands. But right now, as I go, here's the defense right there for Matty Evans. Knocking another one out of the hole right there. And that could be very important when we get to match score at the end. Let's go to Mo and find out Felipe's official score. Mo. Felipe scored three baskets, Mike. All right, so Felipe, he goes first. We'll see what Alba from Mexico can do. On your mark, get set. Alba has 30 seconds to see how many balls he can put right through there. And there is one. Well, and she's right back up on the aerial bridge. A little fake right there. Faking our other players out, and she goes up for another one. Completely head faking the other two guys. She goes for that head fake again. Going up for a third one strong. She's tied for the lead. She's going for first place points right here. Going up strong. Oh, and with the shot, fade away. She might have time for one more. Getting back up to the bridge. All right, and so some fantastic work on that. Let's go to Mo. Alba also scored three baskets. Matt in purple will now see if he can break that score right there. On your mark, get set. Well, Matt's nickname is in the hat. Let's see if he can put it in the hole. And he goes up strong for what? Matt, one of 12 athletes re representing the United States in this competition. He's got two, and he's got 18 seconds to tie the score. He goes up strong. Nobody's touching him. He can take the lead and 300 points in first place. If he goes up strong, and he's got first place points. He's going for a personal best right now, folks. Up strong. This man is determined. He's got the power. He's got the points. And if it's official, first place. Let's go to Mo. Mo! Matt scored six baskets, which puts him in first place. And tied in second place are Felipe and Alba. Matt's nickname is in the hat. He's playing defense and offense on this one. He's third to go in this game and going up for a little defense. Watch this rejection. Saying, nope, I'm sorry, I'm not going to let you have that one. And then coming up for the offense. Very strong, determined. Putting it right through, taking home 300 points. He's now in the lead. Let's go to the leaderboard and Mo. Mike, first place in our events is worth 300 points. That goes to Matt in purple. In second place, tied with 200 points each, Alba in red and Felipe in blue. And the player with the most points at the end of all of our events is the winner. And in a moment, we will be free kicking. But right now, it's time for one of Portugal's finest, Felipe the Boulder, to spill his guts. 
Meu nome é Felipe de Lisboa. Eu sou Felipe, de Lisboa, Portugal. Há duas coisas que fazem um bom atleta: speed e experiência. My favorite athlete is soccer player Romario because it's impossible to stop his penalty kicks. I like being here at Global Guts because of the competition. There's nothing else like it. Look, you think World Cup players have it tough, those goalies? Yeah, well, in free kick, our players here are going to have 45 seconds to stop every shot in the World Cup while defending the goal alone. You got it. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo! My car players will have 45 seconds to defend their goal against two cannons shooting soccer balls at them, staying in their zone at all times. The player with the most saves wins. Players, on your mark, get set. All right, and so those cannons start shooting those soccer balls. We got a little ebony and ivory hail storm for our players. And our players got to remember, you're going to need really good reflexes, agility, and concentration. 45 seconds of staying on the balls of your feet so you can stop those balls from coming into the goal. Remember, if you defend as many as you can, you will go away the winner. And so, Alba, she's not really moving us. She's staying stationary. There's Felipe. He's moving a little bit with just his hands. Looks like Matt over in purple is moving from side to side. He's not let, getting s s stuck up on his feet right there. Alba is just standing right there in the goal alone. Felipe again using his hands very well. And there's Matt moving side to side, showing how he's taken on the whole goal. So it'll be interesting to find out what the results are on this one. Let's go to Mo for the official. Mo! In first place, making 43 saves, Felipe. In second place, making 40, Matt. In third place, making 34 saves, Alba. In this event, our players turning themselves into human backstops, contorting their bodies with precision and skill. There was Alba getting up there, knocking him down with the two hands. And our winner in this event was Felipe. This man stopped three more than Matty. And right there, there was some nice work taking home 300. We got a tie score for first place. Let's go to Mo and check it out. Mo. Well, right now, Felipe from Portugal and Matt from the USA are tied with 500 points each. And Alba from Mexico is in third place with 300 points. Well, folks, the extreme arena filled with soccer balls. We got two events down, two more to go, plus the crack. We do a little basic training when we come back, so stick around. It's going to be bro. Nickelodeon's World Championship for kids where our players are still battling out for the ultimate achievement in action sports, a glowing piece of our radical rock. These next two events could decide it, but right now, she's already one of Mexico's best. Alba, the Comet, spill your goods. Hi, I'm Alba Cavazos from Monterey, Mexico. Sports, but basketball is my favorite. I take my necklace with me everywhere because it brings me good luck, especially on my school exams. I brought it to Global Guts because it will give me enough good luck to bring home the gold. The best part of Global Guts is making new friends. Here's the question. How do you train a global army of guts athletes? Very simple. Put them through a little basic training. In our next event, basic training, our players will be starting off up the cargo net. Then they're going to scoot across Monkey Bridge, cheat, cheat, and then down the fire pole into the tire crawl. After they make it through the tire crawl, they got to scoot on over up the wall climb and then pause and oh, 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 oh. launch into the landing pad. Let's go to Mo for the rules. My car players are timed from the starting line to landing pad impact. They must complete each obstacle before moving on to the next one. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. Up first will be Felipe. Felipe is tied for the lead with 500 points. Getting up the car grenade, he's going to have to pick up his pace. Now what our players need to remember in this event, folks, is getting a quick start, speed, Fearlessness. Remember, folks, the fastest time wins in this event. So Felipe is going to really have to pick it up and hustle. A little stumble right there up the wall climb and across the Tarzan rope. He's going to really have to pick it up here. Into the landing pad. Let's go to Mo for the official time. Mo. 
Felipe clocked in at 31.6 seconds, Mike. Okie dokie, looks like Alba is next. On your mark, get set. All right, Alba a little anxious right here because she knows she needs a good finish in this event to get back in the game. She goes into this in second place with 300 points. With two other players tied for first. She makes it across Monkey Bridge. She could pick it up right here down the fire pole and into the tire crawl. And hustling right through that with the rollout, she could have the lead after this event if she keeps up the pace. Just shows how much strength and aerobic ability our players need. They go from free kick right into basic training and then elastic sport. Let's go to Mo and check on her official time. Olga clocked in at 33.7 seconds, Mike. All right, so now the chance to be in the lead all by himself. Matt in the hat, Evans. On your mark, get set. All right, here it is. Matt in the hat, Evans. The Extreme Arena chanting for him. The purple section going nuts for this guy. And he's making it across Monkey Bridge, good form, grabbing a little toe hold of some Extreme Arena turf. And he's through that tire crawl. He just right out of there. He's laid it on his hands, right back up. No roll up. This guy's taking home 300 if he hits it. Boom. <laughs> Man, a little unorthodox. You see him smiling as he launched himself into the landing pad. Remember, we do have stunt coordinators with our players at all times supervising these events. Let's find out if his time was official. Mo! Matt clocked in at 26.3 seconds, which puts Matt in first place, Felipe in second place, and Alba in third place. So check out Felipe, his nickname is the Boulder, and you know what they say about boulders, rolling stones, gather no moss, and he wasn't getting any moss in that monkey bridge, he was moving down the fire pole and into the tire crawl, hustling his way to a second place finish, but the main man right here, off the Tarzan rope, in the hat, doing a very unorthodox, looks like he was trying to do a cannonball here, and sort of kind of forgot to grab his legs, but in the airbag, still got first place time, let's go to Mo and check out our flux situated leaderboard. Mo! Here it is, Mike. Right now, Matt from the USA is in the lead with 800 points. In second place is Felipe from Portugal with 700 points. In third place, Alba from Mexico with 400 points. Well, folks, a good competition, and only bullseye stands between our players and the crag. Right now, however, let's find out what makes U.S. sensation Matt in the hat Evans a contender for a world title. Hey, Matty, spill your guts! Hey, I'm Matt. I'm from Fairfax, Virginia. My favorite sports are basketball, rollerblading, and baseball. The best part about baseball is stepping up to the plate and crushing the ball. Lots of people brought good luck times like pins and necklaces. But for my book, good luck time, I brought my best friend, Neil. international sharp shooting super sport called bullseye that's right now robin hood was an expert marksman but you think when he went high over the shortwood forest he could get a shout out well right here we're going to do that elastic sports a little bungee cord on your back shoot these arrows let's go to mo mo at the sound of my whistle players will grab a crossbow jump off the aerial bridge and shoot as many arrows as possible in 60 seconds all arrows that stick to the target will be counted the player with the most bullseyes wins on your mark Get set. All right, and so they're off with 60 seconds to fill those targets. All three of our players getting a shot off. Just showing how tight the competition is all day long here at the Extreme Arena. Now, Alba's having a little bit of trouble getting back up there. She's really going to have to pick her pace back up to get more shots off. She's filled the target with three. In this event, you need incredible control, good timing, and good aim. As one just bounces off right there for Matt. You see Felipe, he goes into this event in second place, trailing Matt by only 100 points. Matt is our leader right there. Looks like he has about, oh, somewhere around three. I don't know. Alba in red has four, and Felipe continues. Now we have an individual judge for each player that counts the number of arrows that has hit the target. So we make sure we're very specific about the amount that hits the colored area. And Felipe looks like he's running away from this event right here. All the way from Portugal to the Extreme Arena. Let's find out 
if he won that last event. Mo! In first place, Felipe in blue scoring seven bullseyes. In second place, Alba from Mexico scoring four. In third place, Matt from the USA scoring three. His nickname is the Boulder, and we got a moss free extreme arena turf zone with Felipe doing a little Felipe up against that target. He was our first place finisher in this event. And then we will go to Alba. She's from Mexico, and ladies and gentlemen, the Comet is her nickname, hitting galactic heights in a second place finish for Alba. Now, our leader going into this event was Matt from US in the hat, Evans. Watch how he goes up high, trying to hit the target. Little rockin' ricochet off right there and taking the third place finish in that one. Great efforts from all of our players in that Elastic Sports Fantasy called Bullseye. And we're gonna find out a little bit more about this player that we talked to yesterday. I'm here with Alba from Mexico. She's one of Mexico's 12 best here in the Extreme Arena. Were you excited when you found out? Estaba muy entusiasmada. Wait, wait, wait. Can you say it in English too? Oh, yeah. I was so excited. I was jumping. It was really fun. All right. Can you say, do you have it in Spanish? Can you teach me that? Tú lo tienes. Tú lo tienes? Yeah. Let's say it together. Tú lo tienes! All right. Now let's check out after this last event where we're going with the leaderboard. Mo! Well, Mike, Felipe from Portugal now takes the lead with 1,000 points. In second place is Matt from the USA with 900 points. In third place is Alba from Mexico with 600 points. So, folks, the chips are down. History in the making. When we come back, we'll see which country's flag will be stuck in the crags. Stick around. Welcome back to Global Gossip Bank. You want worldwide drama? I'll give it to you right here because we're at our last event and things are just getting heated up. The crag where the points have skyrocketed. 375, the third 550 per second. A 725 for first. Let's go to Mo. Mo. Mike, after four events, Felipe from Portugal is in the lead with 1,000 points. In second place is Matt from the USA with 900 points. In third place, Alba from Mexico with 600 points. That's a look at where they stand now. Let's take a look at how they got there. And it all started out right here with Felipe going up strong to the hoop, putting it through the hole. Great flying speed in this our slamma jamma. But you got to play offense and defense. And Matt Evans went up and said, see you later on that one. And then he went like Wyatt Earp in free kick. Quick draw and both hands up to knock down tons of those soccer balls in this event. Alba also, look at her move. Concentration, one slip by right there. As we go into basic training, Felipe, who's gonna set the pace first, had a lot of trouble in the cargo net, trying to get back up and speed his way across. Never regained his form. Alba went down and through. Watch the form through the tire crawl. Rolling right out of there, putting some seconds on her clock right there. And then up and at him. Felipe putting all those arrows in the target, getting first place points on that. And so, ladies and gentlemen, the competition has been hot so far. Now it's about to get even hotter because it is the crag. First it was the aggro crag, then it evolved into the mega crag. Now the super aggro crag. Bigger, sharper, and filled with more obstacles and more surprises than ever before. Players begin in Boulder Canyon, where blistering blasts of venomous vapors erupt from the canyon floor. Then it's up through Switchback Bend, with volcanic boulders ready to explode at the slightest touch. Lurking ahead, avalanche ledge, with ultra-sharp spires and rumbling rocks ready to roll. From there, it's a hard solo up the ice wall, straight through the falling sheet of snow protecting the crag peak. And all the while, our players will be facing the sound and the fury of a molten volcano that is ready to blow. You want some rules? I'll give him a mobo. Players will start at the sound of my whistle. Each player has an identical side of the mountain to climb and may not disrupt another player's progress. Now, during their climb, players must light each of eight targets located on their side of the crag. The first player to activate all of the targets, including the final one at the peak of the mountain, will take first place points. Mike. So now, after months of training, thousands of miles of travel, and with millions of viewers looking on all around this great globe, it all comes down to this incredible climb. 
One mountain separates three players from a world title. It's time to get it started. Kick it off, Bo! On your mark, get set. All right, folks, this is what it all comes down to. This is why you train all those months to climb the Super Agro Crag and put your country's flag at the top of that. Venomous bankers trying to slow our players down. Remember, they got to hit all of those actuators. It looks like Matt in purple is in the lead. Matt from the U.S., but he's missed an actuator. He must go back down. It looks like Felipe from Portugal and Alba in red. Who's going to get to the top first? Oh, just slipping in. Felipe before Alba and Matt Rocky in third. We'll have to go to Mo for the official. In first place on the Super Agro Crag, Felipe from Portugal. In second place, Alba from Mexico. In third place, Matt from the USA. There was only 100 points between first and second going into the crag. The crag which takes poise, vision, and tenacity. And Portugal's Felipe right there was concentrating as hard as he could. You'll see the crag troll telling Matt Evans from the U.S. he had to go back down. He had missed an actuator. So right here, up the ice wall, Felipe. You got Portugal. You got Mexico. Who's going to get up there first through the snow? It's Portugal. And then Matt coming up afterwards in third as Portugal and Mexico share high five. Matty then arrives. Let's go to Mo for the final leaderboard. Mo. Here they are. Mike in third place today, Alba from Mexico with 1,150 points. In second place, Matt from the USA, 1,275 points. Our winner today, Felipe from Portugal with 1,725 points. So folks, a great group of world-class athletes right there standing on our medal podium. In third place from Mexico, receiving the bronze medal with 1,150 points, it's Alba. In second place from the United States, Virginia, his home state, he gets a silver medal, one of America's 12 best kid athletes with 1,275 points and the gold medal. In first place goes to Portugal's Felipe with 1,725 points. You're hearing Portugal's national anthem. And Felipe will take back to Portugal a glowing piece of our radical rock, the Crag Trophy, to show everyone in Portugal that he won at the Extreme Arena in Global Guts. A proud gentleman right there as he places the Crag Trophy back on the podium. These athletes will take a well-deserved victory lap throughout the Extreme Arena so the fans here can show their appreciation for these awesome kids. These kids know how to get it done. Global Gut style, making it happen. These kids got guts. Do you have it? Reebok gear, available at Kids Foot Locker, where you'll find the best selection of athletic footwear and apparel for kids.